Ryan Szymanski, Curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Battleship New Jersey is currently in her 1990s configuration at the end of her service life. Most of the ship looks near contemporary to modern warships. However, there are still remnants left behind of the ship's World War II service. Some of them are things that were removed, like the bulk of this 40 millimeter gun tub here. Others, surprisingly, were left in place, even though they served no function following the 1950s. One such feature is the square door here. This door is a passing port for 40 millimeter ammunition, which would have fed the gun in the tub where I was just standing. Now the ammunition will live in specific magazines for the 40 millimeter guns. Check the description below for a link to the video we did where we actually go down the hatch into one of those magazines. The magazines exist inside the armored part of the ship. Uh, and down there, the ammunition is more or less stored in metal crates as individual rounds. Ready service ammunition could be stored in either the gun tubs where there would be racks built into the side or in the 40 millimeter clipping rooms throughout the ship. These clipping rooms are where the individual rounds would go to be put into four round clips which could then be passed through ports like this one to the gunners on the outside so they can feed them into the gun itself. Notice it is an actual clip and not a magazine. These rounds just clip together. This clip detaches when it's done being fired, as opposed to a magazine which is an enclosed box like many modern rifles have. Uh, our 20 millimeter anti-aircraft guns featured a, a, a 60 round drum type magazine. 40 millimeters have clips. So those clips are loaded on the other side of this door in the clipping room. Let's go in and see what that was for. So this space was one of the 40 millimeter clipping rooms. The door to it still exists. However, following the removal of the 40 millimeter guns in 1967, the space stopped being a clipping room. Initially, it was used as the small arms repair uh, office by the G2 division. Uh, that was during her Vietnam commission. In 1982, when she was recommissioned, uh, this unclimate controlled space was turned into the substance abuse office. Uh, and thankfully, by about 1986, when the ship was equipped with some of the first military drones, the RPV Pioneer. This was turned back into a magazine of sorts. This was the RADO storage magazine. RADO stands for Rocket Assisted Takeoff. This is where they would keep the booster rockets that would launch the RPV into the air uh, before its basically lawnmower engine would take over with the pusher propeller. So, because this space was initially a magazine, it was a perfect place to store things like that. Perfect in every way, except that we're some 600 feet away from where they're launching the RPVs. Thanks for watching today. Remember to like, share, and subscribe so that you're notified when we're putting out new content on never before seen spaces on the ship. Remember, uh, if you've got stuff you would like to see or questions, Drop them in the comments section down below and check the description section for links to some of our other related videos uh, and ways that you can donate to support the YouTube channel and the museum.